this episode, Grassroots Garage. We chat all things skylines and automotive photography with Jazz. Pete gets his car wash on and gives his best Mick Jagger walk, completely satisfied with his effort. Welcome to Grassroots Garage. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Tell us about your car. Okay, well, it's a Series 1 uh, R33. I've owned it since January. Yep. Uh, it's boosted, but it's relatively stock. Okay, well. how many pounds is it running? At the moment, it's just 7. 7 pounds. Yeah. The RB25 DET inline 6 in standard trim has around 184 kilowatt and 294 newton meters of torque from the factory. With a few simple mods like intercooler, exhaust, and upping the boost a fraction, turns this relatively mild Skyline, compared to its big brother, the GTR, into a great little street car. It's, uh, it's quite the cannon on the um, on the back of it there, huh? Yeah, it's very obnoxious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks good though. I, I, I think a, a Skyline looks wrong if it doesn't have a cannon that size. Have yeah. <laughs> Isn't it great? You mentioned before you want to respray the car. Yeah, at the moment it's a pearl white. Okay. Uh, it's got a blue tincture, a uh, purple tincture, yep. but I want to go for a blue tint. You want to go for yeah. a blue tint? Yeah. I just think it's just something a bit different out there today. Yep. Um, a lot of people always get a bit surprised when they come over and it, the purple doesn't really show out at first. And they're like, oh wow, yeah. a little purple tint. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Cool. And uh, the wheels that you leave as is? Well, I like the wheels. Yeah. Uh, four man's, because uh, it's a four man's car, so yeah. they deal with all the mechanical side okay. of it and uh, they'll do the spray painting. They help me out a lot. Um, they've suggested changing the wheels because yeah. they said, that, you know, they're not JDM, they're made yeah. in China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so if they can find something very similar, yeah. I'd be happy. We asked Jazz if she could take us for a spin and give us a bit of an insight into her passion and unique style of automotive photography. Right. Let's rock and roll in this beast. So you're in the automotive uh, photography industry, or what's the uh, what's the story of that? Okay, so I do have my own small business where I do photography for um, like uh, garages and uh, people that are competing in motorsports, like Maddie Hill from Formats. Uh, they also have a two car, two girl car racing team. Mm -hmm. um, so I started off doing uh, like getting more into the motorsport side of things with that and promote like helping them with their social media um, just uh, trying to give them a different photo that will sell them okay more than just oh hi here's a pretty photo end of the day it doesn't really matter how pretty your photo is if it's not gonna help them yep you know okay. <laughs> there's no point to it <laughs> um, on the other side I also do a lot of street cars uh, that's a bit more of my own thing mm -hmm. uh, just trying to show the street car culture um, and yeah, it's just uh, just a bit of it, it, most of it's just fun. Okay, it's just good fun. And what what you sets know? you apart from other people? So uh, yeah. so my style has quite a like a video game feel to it. Like yep. a lot of people um, don't know if they're real okay. or not. Wow, cool. <laughs> uh, my latest one, a lot of people have said like, oh, it's the new Need for Speed game cover. Um, yeah, so then, yeah, it's good like that. Uh, I, kind of mix a lot of my portrait photography into the automotive photography and it's worked out really well. Okay. So yeah, I'm nice. quite happy with it and I like to try different things. A lot of my photos have been shared, um, Nissan share a lot of my photos. Um, yeah, so I just, at first I just started off as, as for fun and now I, I'm getting a bit more serious in the business okay. side of things and I just, I really want to help people. Uh, get exposure. I feel like images just, you know, can do you know, like such a huge impact yep. on people. Well, that wraps up another episode of Grassroots Garage. A big thanks to Jazz. And if you're interested in organizing a unique car shoot, check out our Facebook page, Jasminia G Photography. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.